and so it's not effective enough to treat when you got cat fruit. So in other words, right now you can't treat a colony box to that to be effective. If you had a package, but if you just installed a package, would now be the time. To that's do it. that's right. If you just installed a package before they have cat brood, you can treat them. Okay, uh, and a lot of people are treating them now when they're still in the screen, when they're still in the package itself. They'll go ahead and treat them. But even in the winter time, and I'm talking about late December when there's no brood, that period of time when there's a couple weeks there's no brood, it's the ideal time to treat box filled acid. Okay, let me tell you the safe way to do that. The safe, the, well, not the safest way to do that. Oxalic acid, of course, uh, it's a crystal. Comes in a little 35 gram package, okay? Now that stuff is deadly poison. Deadly poison. When you see skull and crossbones on the label, what does that mean? It'll kill you, okay? So be really cautious with it. But the best way, I think, the safest way to treat it is what they call the dribble method, okay? And so what you what you do, get your bottle and <clears throat> fill, of course I've got a line bar. Top of that tape line is one liter. Of course it's a two liter bottle. You can get them from Mike free. Um, I got it marked at one liter. That's a measured one liter. I, Bob didn't guess. He measured one liter. That's it. Okay. So now, what I did is mixed up one to one sugar water. Just one to one sugar syrup. Fill that to one liter. Take your little package, so that 35 grams of oxalic acid, it's a little fine white crystal, pour it in there. And by the way, use a funnel. You don't want to get that stuff on your hands. It's safer to use when you got what? Nitrite gloves on. Keep it off of you. Okay, so you pour it in there and shake it up. Okay, you want to shake it up good. <clears throat> now, you can see how it turns milky? It turns that milky color. Now, Next problem is how you get on the bees. I have found the easiest way, just a little piece of scrap container, okay? Anything like that. What I do then, I pour some of this in that container. Hold it in there. Now, next step, syringe. There's nothing but a little cheap syringe, right? Uh, and this, when they talk about seam of bees between the frames, that open space, bee space between the frames, it's called a seam. That's a seam of bees. So kind of looking at how I say, how many seams of bees do I have? So you count across there, well, I got five seams of bees. Well, the, the treatment rate is five milliliter per seam of bees. Okay, so then five times five is 25. So what I do is draw up 25 milliliters of oxalic acid. Of course, hives open, smoke the bees on top, make them kind of go down off the very top a little bit, so they're down in the, in the frames. And literally, you're putting five milliliters down each seam of bees. You're trying to wet the bees. Not, not on the frames, between the frames, on the bees themselves. Putting five milliliters per seam, okay? And that's the appropriate dosage to use. That's all you do, put the top back one and walk away. So it's fast, but this way, you're not breathing the fumes, Breeding the fumes is deadly. You're gonna breed the fumes for about one time. Okay, and then you're no longer a beekeeper. Okay, it's bad news. That stuff has two states, a solid state and a gas. Okay, no, there's no liquid state. You say, well, Bob, this is a liquid. No, the syrup is a liquid. That stuff suspended. It's actually, those crystals are suspended in here. Okay, and so <clears throat> safer this way than the, than the than, you know, volatilizing it with vapors. The vapors, yeah, you don't want to breathe them. That is, is that more effective than the vapors? It's as effective. Okay. It's as effective. Now, vapor, none of it's going to be effective vapor. when you got cat brood. I'll okay. just tell you right now, it's not effective when you got cat brood. So your chance to do it is on a swarm. You catch a swarm, put a swarm in a box, come back next day and do it. Okay, don't wait days and days and days. Realistically, the queen starts laying about a day after you put her in there with, with the swarm. Okay, in three days, of course, you're going to start capping brood. So you got a maximum of four days after you got to put a swarm in to treat them with oxalic acid if, you, if you're going to do it. Okay. So if they've already started capping brood, uh, do you do it like once a week for three weeks, or you is, could? Is there a way to do it that way? You, you could. Rough on the bees? But too much of it, you just say, "Gosh Almighty, if this 25 milliliters is good, I'll just take this bottle and pour it in there." <laughs> uh -uh, wrong. You just killed your bees. Mm -hmm. So there, there you can overdose on oxalic acid, okay? So that's where the danger comes. 
Um, they still say no more treatments than three a year with oxalic acid. Uh, so I'd go, more is not better, put it that way. And that's called the dribble method. That's the dribble method. That is the dribble method, which I think is the safest method, and a lot of other people think is the safest method. Uh, but it's only effective in the, in the vaporizing, it's only effective again when there's no group. And so, uh, but anyway, I just wanted to mention that, kind of how that works so a little bit. You have a double, double, D, double stack, is it? Do both boxes or just okay. one? No, do both boxes. The maximum dose per hive, even a double brew box, the maximum dose is 50 milliliters. That's the maximum dose, okay? Don't exceed 50 milliliters. And that's, you know, no matter how many frames you had. But that's, that's kind of how that works. If you have a honey super under, do you take that off and leave it off until that's dried up, or do you put it back on right away? Okay. I would not do any treatment. Period. If I had a honey supers on, so with me, I pull that honey super off. Do your treatment. Give it a day or two. Put it back on. Okay. I just wouldn't take that chance. I wouldn't take the chance. Oxalic acid is naturally found in hives. It's a natural occurring product. But why take that chance? Don't take that chance. It's too. I wouldn't take that chance. Uh, why? Why try to monkey for a good thing? You know. Don't take that chance. Okay. The problem with the three week treatment you're talking about. This stuff's only effective for short short term after you put it in the hive. So you treat now, a week later you treat, well all week you've had bees emerging, those mites are coming out. They've already went back in the cell before you treat again, so you're still missing mites with, with that. As I said, you can do it when they're broodless, that's the best time. Yeah. See, as close to broodless as possible. Those female mites coming out of the cells with the, with the bees, a lot of them just in a short period of time, they're going back into the cells as those cells are being capped, right before those cells are capped. So the fairly fast turnaround as far as the mites concerned. That's why the mite levels jump up so fast Sometimes they. So I saw my two packages on Sunday. Okay. So I should treat. You know, I should treat today, right? Yes. 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 Yeah. yes. You don't, you don't have any cat breed. Nice. Yeah. You 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 right in the back end of that window. I treat now.